you recognise that song, The Sound of Summer. And it's a love song. If you like a good love song, you might want to be heading to the Grampians town of Halls Gap in Victoria today. For best effect, it'd help if you're a female cicada. The insects are currently looking for love with the male cicadas singing to attract a mate. It's high-pitched and it's loud for the tourists and residents in Halls Gap today. Joanna Peets on the phone from Halls Gap Caravan Park. Hello. Hello. And from the number one cicada hotspot, Halls Gap Primary School, Principal Jasan Trimble, thanks for joining us. My pleasure. Thanks for inviting me. Can I start with you, Jasan? We heard just a sample of cicadas for a few seconds, but you're living with this all day. How did the 27 students at the school feel? Like they've been to an ongoing Wiggles concert? Um, certainly, I heard that noise and I thought you must have been out in our front schoolyard, <laughs> but it sounds like what's going on at the moment. Um, the kids, uh, depending on where they live in Halls Gap, the kids are, are at varying degrees of acceptance, I think, of the, of the cicadas. What are the numbers like this year? Do you, do you think it's louder than last year? Um, yes. Look, I've been at this school for, for this year and I, so I started in, in summer um, this year, so... It's definitely uh, much more noticeable than than at any stage since I've been out here from last year. When does the singing start and finish? And wh- when do you anticipate opening windows again without needing your earplugs? <laughs> um, well, it actually depends on the temperature. We've noted that once the temperature gets to about 20 degrees, they slowly build up and they start and they continue until it gets... The, the temperature gets down again. Is that right? Yes. <laughs> but you do have to keep... Are you keeping the windows closed at school today? We are you are. worried about the kids hearing? Yeah, we are. We, we've certainly done our best to look after that. I've, I've looked up department policies and things like that about, you know, looking after our hearing and, and industrial noise. I think most of the policies are with regards to, you know, workmen and things like that. So <laughs> doesn't there's no cicada section. <laughs> Um, oh, but, health and safety yeah, for cicada yeah, plagues. Yeah, yeah, cicada plagues. So we, I've done my best to try and work out what's safe and what's not. And I have was put onto a lovely app from a, from a parent who works at um, Parks and Gardens out here. So we go out and, and check the decibel uh, levels for the day. And, and some days we've hit 97, 98 decibels, which is quite extraordinary. What what is that equal to in terms of an appliance? Oh look it's probably like either you know someone mowing the lawn you know being on a lawnmower all day every day or quite possibly being right next to a really loud building site or things like that. The government uh, the guidelines are fairly broad anything from 80 to 140 um, decibels is considered to be um, unsuitable for prolonged exposure anyway. So. What, a, what a fantastic exercise for the kids learning to live and, and, and monitor those, but it also has an impact on business in Halls Gap. And Joanna Peets from the Halls Gap Caravan Park, is it driving you nuts, Joanna? It is driving me batty. <laughs> it's just non-stop. I have no windows, nothing open because you just can't, you just can't. And, and because I've got very sensitive ears, it just seems to hurt. And our guys outside, they've got their, they've now got earplugs because it's just non-stop every day, all day. Well, so, Halls, Halls Gap's at the base of the Grampian Mountain Range and you get stacks of tourists there. What do they say? Well, a lot of them are more fascinated by it because you don't, they sort of don't um, hear it very often. But they just love watching them because they're climbing up the trees and they're all over the ground and everything like that. So they're actually, you know, they just go around and collect them and watch them and... And they're really like beautiful so, to look at. Have you got green? Uh, are yours green? Are they green? We've got green ones and we've got, um, there's a few red ones at the moment. Oh. So I think that's an in-between stage. I'm not quite sure. They sort of got they're, that beautiful lacy wing and the little bright uh, glowing eyes. They are. They're gorgeous looking things, but they you would not believe that the sound could have come out of such a insect. You know, <laughs> you're sort of sitting there thinking, nah, it's not that. But then when you see them, I mean, we've got one tree, a gum tree, and it will have at least, you know, a hundred of them just climbing up the trees. You well, know? It, it, and, uh, it, it'd fascinate the Europeans to see a hundred of them climbing up the trees. Yeah. They already think we're we're in the land of 
crazy animals. That's exactly right. They all think that they're going to attack them at night in their beds. And we go, no, they do stop at night, you know. And then and then to top that off, we'll get the crickets at night. So that's all okay. But um, not as bad as this. So, do you reckon you're uh, losing business? Um, no, no. Out of the, I mean, it's been go- I think it's been going on about two months now, but maybe even longer. Um, I reckon it's been going on about that long because I know that it was on that Melbourne Cup weekend. And um, we would have had about two or three say that they can't stay here, so that's all right. But then they go a bit further down, it just gets louder up there. We're actually, if you go near um, Delhi's Delhi's Bridge, you cannot stand there. You know, that is the worst place. Yeah, didn't someone have a sign out saying that it's no cicadas or it's quieter here? Didn't one business in town on the outskirts have some sort of sign out? I'm not, I'm really not sure, but um, I I would be advertising it if I didn't have them, yes. Yeah. And and just saying, I think the kids have have jumped on board, haven't they, at the Halls Gap Primary School and and having a few cicada races? Oh, look, they've. They've had a lot of fun with the cicadas. We've yeah. we've been very careful to teach them about and talk to them and you know about obviously about why they're here and mm. the environmental issues and all that kind of stuff. But you know we've had cicadas on hats and on backs and <laughs> in the school and in my office and all that type of stuff. Oh, they'll so, be bomb proof no, by the time yeah. they're finished with that. <laughs> well, listen, good luck with it and. Um, I don't know. You'll just have to play some sort of loud music to, to get over it. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'm surprised how, how loud your radios are inside the house. As long as it's on the ABC, <laughs> that's all right. Thanks, <laughs> thanks a lot. No Thank bye. you. Bye. That's bye. Joanna Pete from the Halls Gap Caravan Park and Jasanne Trimble from the Halls Gap Primary School.